All right, in this video, I wanted to talk about how to program your kiln. Uh, when you buy your kiln and it arrives, it's pretty much a plug and play thing depending on if you have the 220 already set up. So I'm going to just teach you how kind of the program or the controller runs. Now every controller is a little different, but they all run on the same principle. So when you're starting out, any program, no matter what it is, has a few basic phases. So phase one, you're going to start here at you know room temperature. You're then going to ramp up to a certain temperature. In this case, it's a thousand degrees because this is the point at which the glass starts to get soft. Okay, so once you ramp up here, you get to a thousand. Um, we'll get to the, the timing on it in a second, but then you're ready to go to the temperature that you desire. So the glass is starting to get soft. You can now ramp all the way up to the, let's say we're full fusing in this case. So we're gonna go 1455. At least that's what uh, System 96 that I use, I fire it at. Okay, uh, we'll get to the time as well in a minute, but ramp up to that thousand, then you're ramping to your top temperature. Then you're gonna come back down and you're gonna hit a point that's called the annealing point. Okay, this is 950, that's what I recommend. Okay, this temperature helps relax the glass. Um, if you do it when it's hotter, you can't anneal it because the glass is still more moving. But at this point, the glass has stopped moving, you're letting it settle, and then you can continue to ramp down slowly. Okay, so this is the basic setup of every program that you're gonna run. Now the details that come into work are how fast you are ramping and cooling. It's gonna depend on thickness and some other variables. Uh, today, my standard program that I run, and for most projects that are um, no more than, I'd say, 10 to 12 inches, um, I actually do a platter in there that's nine by 13. So I would go at 400 degrees an hour, okay, to this temperature, all right? now. What this is gonna tell me is every hour it's gonna go up 400 degrees from the room temperature. So it's gonna take about two hours, a little bit more, um, to get to that thousand degrees. Now, when you get to the temperature, you have the time that you wanna set it at, okay? In this case, we're gonna go zero minutes, okay? I think it's one or two. Um, but zero minutes, because we don't need to hold it there for a certain amount of time. Bigger projects, I'll do another video. Then, you want to ramp up as fast as possible, okay? Or AFAP, whatever you want to call. There's a couple other acronyms. But what this means is it's going to go up as fast as it possibly can to the full temperature. Um, you don't have to be so careful with this uh, segment. Um, and then you're going to hold it there. I do it for 10 minutes, okay? All right, 10 minutes there. Now. What we just walked through were two segments, okay? So a segment is always listed as rate, temperature, and time, okay? So it's these three things make up one segment, all right? So first, the rate is 400 degrees to what temperature? A thousand, and how long do you wanna hold it there? for zero. So that's the process of each segment that you're running. Now in this program, um, we're gonna run either four or five steps or segments, okay? Now, that segment one, segment two would be 9999 to 1455 and hold for 10 minutes. These are the things you would actually plug in. And then on the way down, same thing, we're gonna go as fast as we can down to that 950. Uh, now for this size of project, we're gonna hold it there for one hour. Okay, that's a good, allows the glass to completely relax. Now as you're cooling it further, you still have to be careful. Uh, I like to do a kind of two step. I do 500 degrees, or sorry, I do 300 degrees down to 500 and I hold zero. Okay, so it doesn't really plateau, it just keeps going. And then I go 500 degrees down to 300. Okay, and that's just, you know, it's gonna cool 
somewhat slow down to that 500 and then depending on the size of your kiln as well, that'll affect how much you have to program. Um, but in this case, we can call it one, two steps, three steps, four steps, and then five steps, okay? You could, I run some of my kilns on four step because they hold the heat so well, uh, but it just depends on what kind of kiln or size that you're using as to what kind of heat it holds.